Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the new Valdata 16 by 56 precision rifle scope. I'm just going to say it now. Certified freaking badass. Certified. All right. Now guys who watch my channel a lot know I'm a huge fan, a huge freaking fan of Valdata optics. The reason being, these are true European scopes. Tier one glass, tier one precision, you'll see that in just a minute. And when you're talking about extreme long range precision scopes, this may be one of the very best buys in long range precision scopes, zero bullshit. Now I know you're probably thinking, what makes this thing so special? There's no illumination, there's no locking turrets, it doesn't come with a flashlight, it doesn't come with a pocket knife, it doesn't come with any of the crap that you pay for. This one is a meat and potatoes long range precision scope that is absolutely freaking incredible. I don't know another way to say it. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you this thing up close, show you how it performed at the range, it was absolutely flawless. It's just an awesome, awesome freaking scope. All right, enough of me talking. Let's check this thing out down range. Hang around and I'll show you how to save 10% off of this and every Valdata scope. All right, here we go. All right, now to start off with, you gotta admit that's a pretty freaking handsome scope. All right, let's start out by looking at the eyepiece on this thing. Like every single Valdata that I've ever tried, the eyepiece gives you a huge adjustment range and is absolutely tight as a drum. This thing turns like it's on greased ball bearings and that is no exaggeration of any kind. Now that we're through looking at the eyepiece, make sure and look at the rings. Those are Valdata 35 millimeter rings. Right here on the side focus, it goes from 10 yards to infinity in a quarter of a turn. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? You'll see it down range in a minute to see just how easily it zips in and out of focus. Now the turrets are re-zeroable. There's four screws around each turret. You can take it off and listen to them. Oh, it is a joy to play with this thing. Now, what's really cool about these turrets, one, is how much elevation and windage adjustment you get. You'll see that in a second. The other is this secondary tool right here. Now, say if you set it to zero at 100 yards, you can take the secondary tool, turn it to whatever you think your next distance will be, turn right to it and you can go right between two yardages without having to make any marks on your scope. You can see there's a little screw in the end so you can also lock it down right there. All right, right back to zero. You can tell by the way it moves and listening to it just how crisp it really is. It's like that on the side, exactly like it is on the top. And also they're color coded on the side for which direction you're turning, which I thought was a really good touch. You want to see what 150 MOA looks like at 250 yards or 42 mil, that's what it looks like. Now that's a ton of adjustment range. Right here you can see the coatings on the end of it. Let's check it out at 100 yards. Look at the reference points. On the mil radian target, the pink or the orange dots are exactly three mils apart. Look at how every line lines up perfectly. Not close, perfect is how it works. Now right here, the side focus I was talking about, watch how quickly this zips in and out and the extreme that it does, but it does not move on the target. That is unbelievable. Take it from somebody that tests a crap load of scopes. Right here, I'm checking the turret values, three mils up, three mils down and back to zero. Nailed it again. Now the little bit of flaw that you'll see in the image through the scope, on down range on some of these, this one right here is quite clear, but my lens was leaking light around the edge of it and I didn't realize it when I was filming this because the light was hitting me from behind and from the side and it got past the lens. I just couldn't help it and I didn't know it at the time that I was filming it, but you can still see the test and exactly how it works. I did the vertical tracking, here's the horizontal tracking. I'm gonna bring it right back to zero again Check it out. Look at the way that reticle jumps off the screen at you. And in real life, it looks better than this. Right there, you can see a little bit of the light leak. It's a little more extreme here in a minute, you'll see. But it doesn't take away from the value of how this thing performed downrange. Right back, look at that. 
Now there are scopes. I do these test twists and I think, is it going to return to zero with this one? No question. Bam. All right, guys, here it comes. My favorite test I do on these scopes, the nipple twister. All right. Now for guys that haven't seen one of my scope reviews, all I do is set the scope at zero. It's in my fixture where it won't move. And I just crank on this thing for about 45 seconds in every direction on both turrets and see if it'll return to zero. A lot of scopes will not do that. Right there, you can see the light leaks on the left-hand side. That's what I was talking about, the image. But wait till I finish with this, and it'll give you a good idea of what this thing actually freaking looks like. I love this scope. I mean, I cannot say enough good things about this scope. I've owned several tier one scopes. I've been blessed in that way. And this one performance wise is as good as any scope I've ever owned, including the Valdata G2 that I normally use. Now that's what it looks like. Look at that resolution. All right. I told you, I told you it was a badass. This is one of the scopes without a doubt, zero doubt in my mind. If I had the money, I wanted something long range precision that'll do anything, anything a $3,000 and up scope will do, except for change magnifications, this is it. Now think about it, if you're doing long range precision, you don't need locking turrets, you don't need illumination. What you want is something that has incredible optics, tracks like a three-legged bloodhound, and works every single freaking time with the best mechanics inside and some of the best glass on the optics market. Guys, seriously, if you're in the market, for a long range precision scope and you don't have a $3,000 budget, which most people don't, this is something to look at. I promise you, promise you, you will not be disappointed when you get this scope. It's easy for me to get amped up when something is hitting way, way above its weight class with how much you get for the money you spend. And if you'll call Val on the phone, tell him that you saw this video on Cyclops videos, he'll take a minimum of 10% off of this scope or any other Valdata purchase. Now this is not an affiliate link for me. I don't get anything out of it. This is something Val does to help the guys that watch my channel. And it allows me to let you guys know how much I appreciate the fact that you tune in, that you subscribe, that you leave the comments and that you share my freaking channel, which is important to me. Huge shout out to Valdata Optics for sending me this scope to review. I've got to give it back and it is killing, absolutely killing my ass to send it back, but I have to. Take care guys, you'll see all the specs below and when you call Val to order this thing, tell him I said hi and save yourself some money. See ya.